Hey, welcome to Reverie. Today we will discuss why is romantic love dying? Is it dying because the age of romance is over? Is it dying because we have no space for love? Or perhaps it is dying because we have changed the definition of love throughout the centuries. Let's start with what the requirements of love are. Love can't exist without trust, loyalty, respect, and growth. And these must exist from both parties, or else it's a one-way road. We trap ourselves in false love, believing our actions alone will make someone love us. But love is a bond, not a reward. If one loves more than they are in return given, soon obsession and possession can fester and brew, allowing for one to be caught in a downward spiral of self-destruction, for the more they give, the more of themselves they lose in this weak bond, if there is even one at all. If a bond had all four requirements for love to exist, and one or both parties break just one requirement, then the love will die. It is possible to rekindle the relationship, however, it would require twice the amount of effort and work compared to when before you broke the bond, and will always have a layer of instability. When it comes to false love, the significant other is a void filler. It's blind love, superficial, filled with purchased love symbols, such as gift cards, to keep the relationship alive. Where you rely on the other person's existence to help you forget your pain and issues, and when conflict arises within these lovers, they will hate the lover dearly, for their lover was supposed to be their symbol of peace. And peace is not love. Love flourishes even when facing difficult hardships. On my way back from work, I went to the store to buy a letter for Mother's Day. I couldn't help but realize, but the chocolates, flowers, and gift cards are all depleted and while making route to the letters, they seemed untouched. We replaced our emotions and our words with objects that are supposed to symbolize love. The issue stands to be that if you ask people what they want out of love, rather commonly you will hear widely shared and held concepts, which can stretch into even being considered as traditional, at least in a westernized sense. Notions such as loyalty, devotion, being together through hardship, permanence, and perhaps as I'd consider, with an unintended cruelty, for that someone to be a repository of their emotions. So while seeking out love in this sense, why are they unable to discover it? For many on many share similar sentiments. It is due to a ready availability of commercialized love, romance, and the other values, ideas associated with it, represented through objects and services, i.e. Valentine's Day, gift cards, jewelry, Tinder, Bumble, porn, escorts, these impermanent things that quickly bolster ego and titillate the dopamine receptors, but in the end bring nothing concrete or real. The original sensation of love is devalued by the excess in the contemporary availability. We are exposed to love far too often, that it is no longer something we unlock, but something we can grab just like our keys. Love shouldn't exist every day because anything in absolute abundance will decay. If you are incessantly surrounded by such a powerful force, emotion as love all the time, it then becomes quotidian and regular, losing its potency and capacity to deeply affect you for the positive or hell, be it the negative. The point is, love is meant to be revolutionary, and if it is something so simply acquired, what's really changing or special about it? Why should love matter at all to anyone if it becomes so normal that we take the very life out of it? When we reduce anything to the inanimate and lifeless, we won't care about it. How often do you care about rocks? Do you even notice them on the regular? Why should love be reduced to the same? Alright, and that wraps up our perspective on love. If you liked the video, please share it with your friends and family. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section, and hit the subscribe button to join the community. This is Reverie with Simone and John. Peace.